third person who had their vision taken is supposed to be a famous sword master around these parts. Hyman heard that he's the present day master of Make Your Shisui Art. Sounds pretty impressive. This is his dojo. Luckily, there's some people around. Let's go talk to them. Nanako, don't worry. Since they will be fine. Those thugs that challenged the dojo were strong, but he fought them all off in the end, didn't he? Maybe, but I'm still worried about him. Things have gotten dangerous before in the past, but it's never shaken him. This time, though... <sighs> It's just because he's been possessed, that's all. Once the exorcism has taken place, he'll be right as rain in no time. Hey there! Did something happen? Who are you? I don't care whether you're trespassers or just here to harass us while Sensei is impaired. Get out of here immediately! Don't make me draw my blade, or you won't live to regret it. Disciples? Uh, yep, yep! We've heard all about the mighty master of Make Your Shisui Art! It's the whole reason we came all this way! To seek him out and ask him to train us! But then we got here and overheard you talking about how he got possessed or something? Hmm... From the way you're dressed, it doesn't look like you're from around here. Please, accept my apologies. We've had so many people trying to cause us trouble recently, that we're on high alert. You haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Since they got possessed recently, and he's still recovering, he's not able to take on any new disciples for the time being. I see you are earnest in your pursuit. <sighs> okay, how about this? My fellow disciple Nanako and I will explain Sensei's situation to you in a little more detail. Then you can decide whether to stay or to leave. Sensei's name is Domon. A name I'm sure you've already heard. Though self-taught, he mastered the art of the sword to a high level. He then proceeded to defeat many other prominent sword masters, never losing a single fight. He once said that his goal was to become the best sword master in the world. And so, even while training us, he continued to hone his own art. His fervor truly inspired us, and we trained hard, determined to keep up with him. But then... Not long ago, Sensei had his vision taken away. He hasn't been the same since. He says the strangest things over and over, and he refuses to let us train. Junya and I have discussed it, and, and we both think... that he's been possessed by an evil spirit. So, we've asked the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine to perform an exorcism. But if I'm honest, I still have my doubts over whether he'll completely recover. The Grand Narukami Shrine? What's that? You haven't heard of it? It's the largest shrine on Narukami Island. The Head Shrine Maiden is reputed to have very close ties with the Almighty Shogun herself. Not that we'd have any means of involving the Head Shrine Maiden, of course. But even one of the ordinary Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine would have clear power and authority to perform an exorcism. So don't worry, Nanako. Sensei is going to be just fine. The exorcism will take place this evening. You're both more than welcome to come and watch if you're interested. So, losing your vision can cause possession? I uh, guess we should come back this evening and see for ourselves. Shh. So you decided to come. It's a good thing you didn't arrive any earlier. You would have had to witness Sensei in one of his fits of madness. Just now, when Nanako was attending to him, she heard him whispering a few names to himself. When she asked him who the people were, he suddenly looked panic-stricken and pushed her away. It looked like he was in great distress. He was covering his ears and looking frantically around him with bloodshot eyes. All the while he kept calling those names. Some of them we knew. Others we didn't recognize. But they all seemed to be the names of sword masters he had defeated in the past. One of them was Anzai. He used to be a fellow disciple of Sensei's. 
His senior, in fact. But since they defeated him in a duel many years ago, and he has been a wanderer ever since, since they wouldn't stop calling his name. <sighs> Thankfully, the Shrine Men has managed to subdue him, so the exorcism can finally continue. The ritual has now begun. All we can do is patiently await the result. Here's hoping Sensei will be back to his normal self very soon. Please, excuse me for a moment while I fetch some water. If he wakes up, he is sure to be thirsty. did you catch up with me so quickly? Are you sure you're Dolmon's disciples? You move even quicker than he does. Unless... I guess it's been a few years. Maybe his skills have improved again. Um, excuse me! We're the ones asking the questions here! First off, who are you? And what are you doing sneaking around these parts? Hmm? You seem like bad news, mister! Bad news? <laughs> I'll have you know I trained side by side with Domon back in the day. Long before you ever showed up. I don't care to talk about that time anymore. But if you must know, I am Domon's senior. His senior? Wait, that means you must be... Anzai, yes, that's me. Because I don't wish to see Dolmon or anyone else associated with him ever again. When we were young, we trained under the same sword master, studying Make Yoshi Sui art together. I had begun training five years before him, and everyone looked up to me as a steady and dependable older disciple. Practitioners of Make Yoshi Sui art seek to achieve stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. So the majority of disciples are indifferent to rank and reward. I was no exception. But Domon was different. The first thing he did when he joined was go straight to our sensei and ask him, with a beaming smile on his face, how to become the best in the world. Sensei scolded him and told him that the art of the sword should not be used for such vain ends. Sensei said that coveting the title of the best sword master, barely days into his training, showed that he had a fickle mind, and that this would impede him from ever mastering the blade. I thought so too at the time, but Dolmon began making swift progress in his training and even started catching up with me. Only then did I realize that it was Domon who had long since freed his mind from all agitation. He was consumed by his singular desire to become the best in the world. He sought nothing less than perfection in the art of the sword, and nothing could deter him from this goal, no matter what stood in his way. Sure sounds like he meant business. So how come you don't want to ever see him again? Because until he arrived, I was convinced that I would succeed our sensei as the master of Mekyo Shisui art. Of all the disciples, I was the most gifted. I had trained the longest. Everyone had high expectations for me. Domon's arrival changed everything. When we sparred, I lost not just the match, but my pride and my status too. I fled the dojo that day and never looked back. Later, I heard that he sparred with Sensei, too. Sensei was advanced in years by then, and unfortunately, that match used up every last ounce of energy in his body. After that, I wanted nothing further to do with him. Deep down, though, I still respected his mastery of the blade and his commitment to the art of the sword. So, when I heard rumors that he had lost his mind, 
my first reaction was to dismiss them as false. How could he, of all people, have lost his mind? His mind was the sharpest of them all. He had practiced make Yoshisui art to perfection. I decided to quietly come and see if it were true. Then, to my complete astonishment, I heard him call my name. I thought mine was a name he had long since forgotten. So you see, I came here not to cause him any harm. I just wanted to see for myself. Okay, you've heard my story. You should get back now. The exorcism is probably finishing. Hmm, seems like we got it wrong this time. He wasn't here to mess up the exorcism at all. Still, Paimon's not sure we should bring him back with us. Uh, let's go see how the exorcism's coming along. What? Y you're saying he isn't possessed? Does that mean that he's just lost his mind? But h h how is that possible? No, no, I refuse to believe it. Something's clearly wrong. Nanako, please. Try not to get agitated. I am sorry. With what powers I have, I can find no sign of any malignant spirit having possessed Domon. But spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world, many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. Thus, I dare not rule out possession with complete certainty. And all is certainly not lost, for I received word not long ago that Lady Yai has taken an interest in your sensei's case. L Lady Yai? Is that... the same Lady Yai that I think you mean? The head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news! Then sensei will be sure to recover! Correct. Lady Yai is most knowledgeable indeed, and has abundant experience in the exorcism of evil spirits and aversion of great calamities. I am unable to say for certain whether an evil spirit has possessed your sensei, but Lady Yai can give a conclusive verdict. Excuse me, Miss Inagi, but I must ask, should we prepare a greeting gift for Lady Yai? That won't be necessary. All that is required of you is your timely arrival at the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Yai does not like to be kept waiting. I must leave now, but we will meet soon at the shrine. I wish Domon a full and speedy recovery. Who'd have thought Lady Yai herself would have taken notice of our Sensei's case? Do you mean to say that Sensei isn't renowned enough to deserve Lady Yai's attention? No, no! That's not what I meant at all! You misunderstand me! I just mean this is Lady Yai, the head shrine maiden. She has direct and close contact with the almighty Shogun herself. Um. Anyway, you should join us too, tomorrow. Given that you've traveled all this way just to meet our sensei, we, the disciples of Mekio Shisui Art, would do our best to help you. Pretty excited about Lady Yai. We're curious to meet her too. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find out a thing or two about the Raiden children from her. <laughs> <laughs>